Let's get to border security. As you know, it's been a big topic this election cycle since Donald Trump pledged to build a wall along the 2,000 mile long southern border. But is this wall a realistic goal? Residents in Texas who have an up close view of what life along the border is really like don't seem to think so. Joining me now, Jason Book, who covers immigration and border affairs for the San Antonio Express News. Jason, a welcome to you here. I know that you recently wrote an article about this topic. So why do residents think a border wall is unrealistic? What are some of their reasons? Well, for one thing, there's already several hundred miles of existing border fencing that's been put in. Um, so they got, we talked to people who had pretty mixed reviews about how, ex how effective that existing fencing has been. Um, and then in Texas, we have really wide swaths of very remote border along the Rio Grande River that uh, a lot of people we talked to said it would be it would be very, very difficult to build some sort of massive physical barrier there. It, are they saying it's logistically not possible? I know you spoke with some people who, who seem to or agree or disagree with the rhetoric of Mr. Trump over this past year regarding even immigration and the border issues themselves. Right. Um, you know, we talked, the wall is almost universally opposed for, to the people we talked to, and, and polling's shown pretty much the same thing. Um, even Trump supporters that we talked to who uh, liked what he was saying about the economy and, and even about border security um, didn't, didn't support the wall. We, I think we talked to one person who supported the wall, and polling's found about 15% of border residents are really strongly in favor of the wall. Uh, to be honest with you, most of the people we talked to were talking about the economy. They hmm. were talking about international trade and they were talking about the candidate's uh, uh, personalities, the, the, the candidate's character. What about the, the bigger issue? Is there a bigger issue here than just stopping the flow of immigrants and deporting 11 million people who are already here? Is there something that can be done before people even get here to stem the flow? Uh, well, certainly the U.S. right now is trying very hard to slow the, uh, the movement of people from Central America um, to, to our borders. Uh, the, Mexico has begun massive deportations of Central Americans coming through that country. The U.S. is spending uh, uh, large amounts of money in, uh, on economic development in what they call the Northern Triangle countries, Guatemala, Honduras, and, and El Salvador. So you know, there, there is an, an argument being made right now that there, you can attack some of these issues at the root rather than trying to fight them, um, as, as our uh, congressman uh, from Laredo, Henry Cuellar, says, at the one-yard line. So, Jason, you say the root. The immigration has been the root of Donald Trump's campaign. Is it a winning approach for him, bottom line? What do you think from those along the border there, the southern border? Well, I think Texas is going to go for Trump um, no matter what, but it's certainly not an issue that most of the people we talked to were incredibly concerned about. You know, we did meet people who live in dangerous areas of the border, people who'd, be, who'd been threatened. We talked to uh, one, of my, one of my colleagues talked to a farmer who'd, who'd had his pump burned down, presumably by traffickers who were trying to scare him off his property. But um, upstream from what we call the lower valley, where most of the overland um, trafficking happens, um, we talked to people who, you know, the territory was too rugged for there to be a lot of people coming through or a lot of drug trafficking coming through where they live. Um, they don't think that it's possible to build a wall there, and they weren't particularly worried about their own safety. All right. Jason Book with, a San, with the San Antonio Express News, thank you very much for that. We appreciate your time.